there have been some significant advancements in the rendering of materials capability in our latest update in Fusion 360, the, the May 2014 update. Um, so I'm going to take a look at some of those. And I've got a model here that I'm starting with. This is just the, the, the portal gun um, from, uh, from Portal. And I've removed all the materials from it. So basically we have just a clean slate to work from. Um, now in here you'll notice in the new update if you hit the drop down, if you're using, if you're in model or sculpt and hit the drop down, you'll notice there's a new option called render. This will take us into a render environment that allows us, that, that's really um, set up to, to give you really nice, uh, kind of a nice canvas for visualization. Whether you're, whether you're just showing off your model pre-rendered or you're actually rendering it out, this is a great place to go. We do things like turning edge mode off so that you know, you're just looking at the model itself. Not really intended to be modeling in here. In fact, if you right click on some of these components, you'll notice that you really only have graphical options here. So I can't go in and edit something. If you want to edit something, you want to be back in the model or sculpt. Um, but I can turn visibility of certain things on and off. I can apply materials, isolate, things like that. Um, so in here, some of the options, we'll get into materials in a moment, but you'll notice that I have materials, I have environments, rendering, and say, capture my whatever is on my screen at the moment. We're going to go to environments, and here, by default out of the box, you get plaza. There are some that I like a bit more than plaza. I can go to snowfield, which, um, which I kind of like, and you can adjust the exposure, the rotation of the light. Um, you know, sharp highlights. So you can kind of go through each of these, play around with ones that, that you may like. And, you know, I, I change from model to model depending on what my model is and what effects I'm looking for. But you can see here that you have a number of them to choose from. You can choose the exposure. So if you want to play around a little bit with the, the lighting, you can do that. Um, and then you also can change the, the angle of the light. So if you're wanting to get certain effects, um, certain light reflection that reflections and things on your model you can rotate that around and kind of get it where you want now right now we're not doing any rendering so this is just giving me you know pretty decent feedback in canvas but as soon as I'm ready I can turn on the rendering and start to get some of that effect in my my rendering in fact let's do that now we'll just hit render and this will kick off the rendering and I've got a couple of different options I have normal which takes just, you know, it's pretty quick. We've, we've greatly enhanced the, the time it takes to really start to get a nice rendered image here. Um, but normal allows me to, to get it pretty quickly, and I can start to see the shadows, lights, reflections. If I'm really serious about getting a nice image, I'll go to advanced, which takes it a little bit longer. It just calculates, you know, bounces the light more and gives me better reflections, better lighting, you know, all, all the way across. So um, if you've got a little time and you want a, a little hot, higher quality image then go to advanced and it'll just continue to calculate the light and give you a little bit better um, image but you can see here in in 40 seconds we have a pretty decent image granted it's just all white materials right now um, but you can we can play around with that so let's let's turn that off I can actually in in here I can disable and enable it here and then I can also disable there and uh, if I want to just kind of pause it momentarily uh, so here, let's start coming in and, and playing around with actual materials. So I'm going to go into my appearance materials, and you'll notice this is a whole new experience. And I can apply these materials at the model level, or or the the model environment, or the rendering environment. It doesn't really matter. I can I can bring this up either place. Um, but when I'm in here, you'll notice that I have all the materials that are in my given scene. Um, how I'm going to apply new materials at the body component level or at the face level. And then I have the materials that I'm working off of. Now we've added uh, a whole new material library that gives, um, I think, a much, much better uh, experience both in looking at the model and rendering. Um, you know, we've really done a lot of tweaking. and We've provided materials that are more meaningful to a lot of customers using Fusion 360. Um, so you'll notice this is a, a whole new material library. And we've tried to split things out to make a little bit more sense too. We didn't have a lot of paints before. So here we have glossy, metal flake, powder coating, um, power coating, things like that. Um, so from there, I also have other, which consists of things like carbon fiber, rubber, um, environment, Thing, you know some some nice materials now if you do want your old material library you can come down to this drop down go to legacy and you have all the old materials that you may have used in the past um, but we're gonna stick with the new materials right now and we'll start out with uh, the glass 
piece. So I'm just going to go to my glass and drag and drop a material on here. So instead, in the past, you would right click on, you'd, you'd pick on something, right click, and go to appearance, and it was really whatever was selected. Now we have true drag and drop. So I can grab different materials, try out different things here, and just drag and drop. Um, now if I want to apply something to multiple objects, so let's let's come here and let's say that we have um, a couple of objects that we want to apply uh, much the same material to. Um, let's go to our paint, and I'm just going to do something like glossy, and we'll find, uh, let's do glossy black. So I'm going to I'm going to drag drag it on one object there but you will notice that I can grab a couple of objects you can see that they're they're selected in the browser here I can see it in the in um in these bodies but I can drag this and drop it on one of these bodies and it'll apply it to multiple components so instead of having to um instead of having to do it all all individually you can drag it to multiple components. It's also a current space, so if I drag it on one, it drags it on the other. Um, but let's let's come in here and just apply a few of these materials. So we'll go to other, I'm going to go to rubber and just put a soft rubber material on each of these. These are all individual components, they're all slightly different. So we'll apply that on there. Um, I can also, an interesting thing, let's say that I want uh, I want to try a couple of different things in my design. Uh, maybe I want this to be a different color. Maybe I want it to be chrome or something else. Once I've applied something to it, I may want to find what material is applied to it. So I can right click and say, um, from here, let's just say, let's pull this out a little bit so you can see it. Um, we can say show objects selected to and I can see all those objects that this particular one is selected to. Now it looks like, um, let's see, uh, looks like I have the same one on everything which we may want to adjust in, uh, in a few minutes but we'll drag that on there too. Okay if I want to play around with different colors um, I could, let's say aluminum, I could drag it and drop it individually on each face or I can drag it and drop it up here and it'll apply a new material on everything that is in my scene. So I could do something like black anodized or red anodized and it just updates all of those. And then I could come in and say, well, you know, these are individual, so we're going to apply those individually. Um, you know, maybe I want those to be a little bit different color. And then let's go back to, you know, I, I really like, in this case, the, the paint. So we're going to go back to glossy and drag and drop that onto the aluminum and get something like that. Um, now I'm also, let's uh, let's do one more, we'll, we'll go into metal and I'm just going to go into chrome and drag it on these fasteners. So we want those to be nice and shiny. So we'll drag that over. So I have, I have the material on most of these things. Um, I do want, let's make that glossy as well. And I probably have the this light in here um, that I want to I want to emit some actual light out of. So this is an area that right now we don't have uh, ambient lighting or or emissive lighting in here to be able to light your environment with our new materials. So this is the one area that I'll go to my legacy material library, and I can go over to let's see I think it's under plastic, and I have these LED lights. And I'm just going to grab one of these LEDs and drop, drop it in. And I'm also, let me turn off that body for just a minute. Let's see which one that is. All right, we'll turn that off. And let's go back into our appearance. I can right click and get back into that appearance if I want. And I'm going to drop that LED on there as well. So now I have that LED on there. It looks okay, but it's green, and I probably want a little bit different color. So this is where I can come in and start modifying my materials. If I just right click on one of these, I can say edit, and you'll notice that I can change the color of that particular material. I can go to advanced and this gives me advanced options in here so I'm still in my regular appearance library but it allows me to come in and make some adjustments. So here I'm going to go over self illumination and I can probably change it to be something like a desk lens which will give me a little bit better glow and I can tweak some of the luminance and, and the different settings in here 
but we'll apply that for right now. Um, and I can do that for pretty much any of these materials. If I want this black to look a little bit different, I can come in and edit that, and I can make that you know any any color I want. So it, it's very easy for you to go in and make those adjustments. And let's uh, let's just render this for a moment. We'll find a a good view, and I'm going to do the quick render. So we'll just say let's do the normal render. We'll give that a second, and you can see that we're starting to get some glow come through there. Um, not looking too bad. So we could continue to let that go and refine. But I'm going to close it just for a moment. Uh, let's turn that off, actually. And I'm going to turn on a body that I have in place here. It's just a floor. A little bit hard to see there. But what if I wanted to, uh, to uh, apply different materials, maybe something that I don't have in the library? So, you know, I can come to something like the wood. And I do have some nice furnished woods. And, and I can apply those, and you'll notice that the woods look pretty nice. This one's coming in a bit big, but you know you can you can see the the different woods, and they look much nicer than than what we had before. But I don't know if if you haven't played Portal before, but in in space there aren't a lot of wood materials, so we probably want to do something a little bit different than that. So I'm going to take one of those. In fact, you'll notice that I'm it's collecting the different materials that I'm putting in the scene, so that I can come back and reuse those. But if I want to purge all the materials that haven't been used, I can right click and say delete all unused and it'll get rid of all the materials that aren't in use in this particular scene. Um, but I'm going to take one of these wood, this wood material and I'm just going to edit it and maybe I want to give it a different name. I'm going to say something like portal floor and we can go into advanced and I'm going to add an image in here. And you'll notice here that the image is set up as kind of a rectangular image, so I'm probably going to change that to be something like 36 by 36 inches. Let's unlock that so that I can do it in the, the same, so it'll keep the same value for both. It's a square material. And then I'm going to change the material that's in here. So in the source, I can just pick that. And I'm going to go out to my pictures where I've got some different uh, different textures. I'm just going to place a concrete one in there. Um, I also may want to use that same thing for my bump. So, you know, if, if I wanted to have kind of a bump effect, we can come in here and say, let's make sure that we're using um, the right one for my bump. So we'll pick that again. And, you know, here we'll also make sure that we're 36 by 36. And apply that. We may want uh, we may want to scale that down a little bit. So let's uh, let's just hit cancel here for a minute. You'll notice. So from here, I have kind of the the basic edit, and I have the advanced edit. Well, I can do the scale from here just to give me a, a nice uniform scale in my model, and pretty much just as easy as that, I've been able to bring in a, a texture, make some adjustments to it. So now, if I render this, we can see that material that I've created in my scene. So um, hopefully that helps a bit with being able to come in, you can apply all sorts of different materials, you can purge materials that you don't, that you're not using in the scene, you can drag and drop from, um, let's, let's open this up so we can see this a little bit more, but I can drag and drop from my library up to InDesign, I can see where something is being used, so if I say select objects applied to, I can see the objects that that particular one is applied to. So it makes it very easy for me to see what materials are applied where, um, what kind of material. I can make simple, easy edits, or I can get into more of the, the advanced edits and be able to, to play some pretty cool materials. So with this, I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. And I'm going to kick off the rendering on here. Let's, let's close all of these things. And I'm going to kick this off to give me an advanced rendering and it'll take a couple of minutes but we'll see the end result in just a second and you'll be able to see pretty much how easy it is for us to drag those materials in and then the nice little rendering environment that we have in place so hopefully that helps and uh, I'd love to see some of the cool models that you guys render out with this